we'd um, done high street collaborations for ready to wear but never for furniture and uh, the prospect of working with a, a historic furniture brand who's been in business for over 40 years was, was really interesting to me. The uh, collaborative process of producing the uh, sofa with DFS was full of surprises. To find out all the specifics of how the construction of the sofas is done, it's, it's run like a, an atelier similar to my own um, in, in London, and um, all you know, kind of beautiful handmade frames, amazing choice of fabrics, and all the kind of framework. And so it was, it's been a real eye opener into the into the furniture world. One of the major attractive things to the collaboration with DFS was the DFS uh, bursary scheme which is going to start in February next year. It's a great way for um, graduates in their final year from any discipline to get their work known, get their work recognised, work with a, you know, a very respected high street retailer and to, and to have a piece made real. And in the, the world of cuts in the arts and arts fundings and design I think it's essential that projects like this are, are, are encouraged. When I went to the studio in Long Eaton and um, worked with Scott, a designer at um, DFS, it's always interesting to, to get involved with other designers and other companies and to see how they work. I really like the idea of bringing good design at a very great price and a great construction to, kind of, to the masses, basically. I, I, I really believe strongly in the democracy of design, so I find that re really inspiring. We submitted mood boards and sketches to um, DFS and then met and had a discussion about the, the technical aspects of how the piece could be constructed and the overall volumes, the fabrication, um, the, the kind of technical um, creativity from the, the, the kind of frame makers and the craftsmen who were working on it and conversations with them about you know the best ways to, to get the shape we we're looking for, the overall finish, was it something that, that visually looks a little bit more solid but still very comfortable or you know can all these ideas you know kind of have to be discussed. I was very pleased at the first prototype. We thought that we should um, kind of expand and, and um, increase some of the volumes, um, so like parts of the side and the back and the overall depth, the addition of the two footstools to, um, to really give it that kind of L shape or turn it into almost like a giant bed, um, which I thought was a really interesting idea. I like sofas to be a kind of an esoteric place where you can go spend lots of time and have lots of fun on. So I kind of, um, I, it has to be comfortable for sure, um, but plenty of space where it's all possible. And um, and the fabrication, you know, I like statement strong pieces. So something with with bold colour or a bold pattern, uh, that's the kind of worlds that I'm really attracted to. You know, the, the mainstay of every room is a sofa. So I think to, it's it's well worth getting the right one.